What's good, YouTube? It's Tay Man, and today, man, we're gonna be reacting to Omni Man versus Homelander, Invincible versus The Boys, Death Battle. Now, I don't watch neither of these, but I do know of Omni Man. Omni Man. Yeah, I don't know why I'm fumbling over his name, cause it's so simple to say. But yeah, so we're gonna be reacting to this Death Battle. If y'all do know information that I don't know about these two characters, leave it down below in the comment section. But I'm going into this going biased because I only know about Omni Man, if I'm being honest. So I got him winning this, but leave y'all predictions down below in the comment section as well. I am streaming this live on twitch.tv slash man, so make sure to follow me on there. But with that being said, let's get right to the video. Omni Man, the invincible champion from Planet Viltra. Homelander, the world's greatest superhero, brought to you by Vought International. Now that I think about it, I have seen the Homelander before. Plumbed in the very first, Superman. But what if absolute power did, in fact, corrupt absolutely? Answer, we're all screwed. He's whiz and I'm boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and yeah, skills. Omni Man was on something, bro. A death battle. Look, up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane, no, it's Omni-Man. <laughs> Had you go in there for a second, huh? Uh, not really, is This dude gotta have yeah, some well, of the forgiven, darkest black forces I've ever seen, bro. Inspiration. He's even got that like, they ain't nobody that I know who's just CGI. a menace Born like him, besides Kid Boo from Dragon Ball Z. As its super-powered alien defender and spread the enlightenment of his utopian homeworld. And as his superhero, and he sits two two fifty. There was no one better Heck no. He saved the world countless times. Worked alongside the guardians of the globe, and even married and had a son, Mark. Life couldn't be better until <laughs> Mark inherited his dad's Viltrumite powers. That's when Mark found out that his dad was a stinking rat bastard liar. Turns out Viltrum wasn't exactly the peaceful utopia Nolan promised. Peaceful in the sense that they culled half their population, murdering billions with their Golly. bare hands until only the strongest were left. This so like this? By a common purpose. This Viltrumite empire then went on to conquer planet after planet in their home galaxy, murdering any who dared oppose them. So just scratch that whole peaceful part entirely. And turns out Omni-Man was here to do that same thing to Earth. Sorry, Mark. Your dad's a dick. Golly. Worst, he's easily the most powerful being on the entire planet. Imagine combining the raw power of a Kryptonian and the bloodlust of a Saiyan. And what you get is basically yep. a Viltrumite. Due to their unique that DNA, does describe Viltrumites are composed of smart atoms that they can manipulate to achieve superhuman feats. Like holding their breath for weeks on end by drawing more energy from the oxygen inside them. Kinda reminds me of that whole bioelectric aura thing Superman has. That's basically how comic writers bullshit a sciencey explanation for his powers. Except smart atoms make even less sense. How can atomic structure be designated by your DNA? DNA is made of atoms. It's completely nonsensical biological hogwash that I cannot stand. Uh oh, comics fans. I mean, it is a cartoon, bro. Debunk. Viltrumites can fly, withstand near absolute zero temperatures, and even possess insane healing factors. You know, stuff like getting punched through the stomach, having your guts ripped out, or having your face smashed up in Golly. a tomato soup. Yeah, yeah that's measuring, the scene I'm talking about. Viltrumites in this series get fucked up and somehow survive. However, too much trauma to the brain or heart can overtax their healing factors, and intense heat can be especially damaging. Even the most powerful Viltrumites can be killed what by you know, extended beating his son the ass at the sun? of a star. And because of their abilities, their inner ear vestibular system is far I know that more sensitive than a regular human's. Intense sonic pressure will disrupt their fragile equilibrium and even prevent them from flying. Though, pushing themselves to their physical limits only ends up making them way stronger. And considering yep, that's that sand. have been planet conquering for thousands of years, that's exactly what a sand does. God! Like other Made that turn into an owl. Will literally splatter their bodies against him. But Mark didn't inherit everything from his dad. Despite his alien genes, Mark was raised as a human with our weak, pathetic human values like love and compassion and not brutally murdering the shit out of everyone you see like a maniac. 
really made it difficult for Nolan to relate to his kid. Such as when these aliens invaded Earth. Mark tried his best to minimize casualties and outsmart his numerically superior foes. Nolan, yeah. meanwhile, tackled their leader through the portal back to their homeworld, then spent some time systematically annihilating their planet <laughs> for even daring to take Earth from him. Classic generational divide. Makes sense. is underselling it. Nolan flew so fast that his body lit their planet's atmosphere on fire, creating massive country-sized explosions with his own body as the projectile. Omni-Man has flown across galaxies in only a week, survived punching a hole through a planet. Now you might as well say he is a hybrid of a Super Saiyan and Superman. Like, the distance from the top of the panhandle that is the most accurate description I have seen. kilometers wide. And weigh over 4.6 quintillion tons, moving at re-entry speeds of over 11,000 meters per second. It had hit with enough but I'm not paying attention to all of this information, bro. So Omni-Man is strong enough to slaughter those who considered him an ally, the Guardians of the Globe, all to ensure as seamless a transition to the coming Viltrumite rule as possible. Too bad for Nolan, it wouldn't be that easy, because he'd have to go through his son first. Mark was horrified by his father's treachery, spurred on by the reveal that Nolan only viewed his mother as a pet, a disposable oh, Wow. Owner. Invincible fought Omni-Man to save the planet. Bro, and who's the worst Mark's father? Him or began. that dude from Baki? Get it? Training? Like the train? Yes, we get it. It was a good pun. Jesus. But if anything, it was Omni-Man that learned a lesson about humanity that day. He may have tried to turn Mark into a Viltrumite, but in reality, as Nolan fled Earth with <laughs> tears in his eyes, Mark made his father human. Wow. Welcome to Vought International, a multi-billion dollar American conglomerate whose number one products are the greatest superheroes on the face of the earth. That's right. Superheroes are real and they're big business. Oh yeah, I watched Imagine like an episode or two of this. A monopoly on popular culture, pumping out movies, TV shows, action figures, and video games mm -hmm. constantly. Drowning the no, I really didn't care about the light there for real. Nostalgia opium with no end in sight. Yeah. Imagine. Within Vought's pantheon of gods among men is their premier super team, the Seven, and its leader, Homelander. He's got the looks, the charm, the Jesus, and most importantly, he's got the power to slaughter all of America's enemies at home and abroad. This guy probably eats freedom and shits eagles. But Homelander's squeaky clean corporate sheen is only skin deep. Far from the big blue Boy Scout he's marketed as, Homelander is probably the closest. Forty-one, four. I mean, five of them. Remember Bad Future Biff from Back to the Future? Now give him superpowers and media training. Vought's official story is that Homelander was an alien who landed here as a baby. A tale we're all familiar. Oh, of course. And one that's total bullshit. Homie was made <laughs> in a lab with Vought's proprietary super soldier serum, Compound V. And he was a complete <coughs> success. Too much of a success. He was murdering rooms of terrified scientists before his umbilical cord was even cut. In the comics, Vaught had to keep a remote Imagine getting killed by a baby, bro. Times because they had no idea what else could possibly Fake kill ass him. Stewie Griffin. As he grew up, he was subjected to psychological conditioning to make him the greatest and most profitable hero of all time. It wasn't long before he debuted as Homelander, the ultimate defender of the American dream. Homelander possesses massively superhuman strength, speed, and durability. Yeah, basically Superman, he can fly at yep. hypersonic speeds, see through walls with x-ray vision, and detect a person's emotional... A shadow the head taught Superman. <laughs> but you know you're done for when he breaks out his heat vision, which is strong enough to slice through crowds of people, or split... Golly! Or scream so loud that it shatters the eardrums of anyone around him. Those are innocent bystanders whose ears are exploding, by the way. Oh, yeah, he totally botched this mission to stop a plane hijacking, so he forced each and everyone on board to die in the resulting crash so they wouldn't reveal his incompetence. Well, Homelander's powers may be real, but his heroism is a charade. Though he plays yeah. his part well, he cares nothing for the peons he's forced to protect. The only thing he treasures is, ironically, his public image. Turns out being raised as a lab experiment doesn't create a healthy person. But don't worry, he eventually cleaned up his act and started a totally 100% healthy sexual relationship with a fellow superhero. <laughs> who just happened to be an actual Nazi. Wow. Speaking of sex, Wiz, you know how I'm always saying we should figure out how Superman and Lois uh, get busy? Well, forget that, because hopefully they proved that they can't when his ejaculation blew his partner to smithereens. 
Who drew that? Look, there's no way to sugarcoat this. Considering a human's load has much less mass than a shotgun pellet, it would have to be moving significantly faster to achieve. Oh, the they really again. calculated Over this. Okay. Meters per second, or 4.5 times faster than sound. That's right. Homelander can bust a nut faster than the speed of sound. Well, good night, everybody. Ooh, kind of sucks for humanity that they made this dude the most powerful being on the planet and a psycho murderer. That's no exaggeration. Stillwell even commented that Homelander has proven immune to every weapon known to mankind, no matter how powerful. But, but is he immune to hands? Lacks the ability to kill him. That it includes. I think Omni Man gonna put them hands on him. The Czar bomb, which exploded with the energy of 50 megatons of TNT. Actually, it could have exploded with twice that, but the Soviets who created it were afraid it would irreversibly alter Earth's biosphere and end the world. That's right. We all almost died. And that's the kind of shit Homelander can shrug off no problem. He's strong enough to throw a jet with one hand and fast enough to outspeed a C4 explosion. Despite being an emotionally stunted man-child, Homelander is still surprisingly cunning and able to manipulate those around. So they have a cartoon no, version of this and um, a RL show. Angriest limey, Billy Butcher. Yeah, turns out forcibly fathering a bastard son with someone else's wife is not a good idea. Of note, as unjustifiable as it is, to Homelander, this gave him something he never had before. Some small measure of control over his own life. Being born Vaught's star pupil meant he was under their thumb from the day he was born. His superpowered son was the first thing that was truly his and might be his best option for a new beginning. <laughs> or... Not. Wow. All right. Go ahead. Leave y'all predictions. Who y'all got winning this? Howdy, neighbor. Coco. The animation already looked cold. You know, Nolan. Homelander is more than just a superhero. They might be cynical to say this, but he's a, a brand, and it's very important to me. <coughs> Brand means something. And if I'm playing second fiddle to some goddamn alien, what's really the point, right? What do you think, Debbie? Wow. No, oh, she's shy. So, do we have an understanding? Get the fuck out of my country. <laughs> I'm going to feed you your own heart. <laughs> Shit. That was a great line. I ain't gonna lie. These are some cold lines. Oh my goodness, he cracking them. Country. Seriously? I'm not here for your country. I can't see how this fight ends though. But I know Omni Man gotta watch him. He just got to crack. We wow. Never been hit by some of your own size before. You have to turn with the punch to reduce. God. Better. And he's gonna take it for that rock. Well, never mind. This fight gotta blow up the planet. That's the only way this fight ends. What's the matter? Are you going to cry? I'm done with you. I'm gonna flash that little shit son of yours. This worthless neighborhood. And every wow. goddamn person you know. And he's gonna feed him his heart. Crazy. Merry Christmas. Wow, it ended like that. I well, I told you, bro. 
It sure seems like he was working out some aggression there. Despite Homelander's dominance within the world of the boys, he's a big fish in a small pond. Yeah, Omni-Man is just that dude. He's him. Omni-Man can move faster than light. Homelander can survive a nuke, while Omni-Man can shatter the moon twice over. To be fair, Homelander did have a couple of abilities Omni-Man didn't, like his heat vision. And while Viltrumite healing factors have failed... But Omni-Man don't care about no heat vision. You see, he cracked while he was doing it. And there's no reason to think Homelander's heat vision was anywhere near that That man said, hey. Well, Nolan's tank heat vision from the Super Hero had Supreme before. Who can vaporize people in an instant? Even if it was hot enough, Omni-Man's superior speed would cut him off before he could do any lasting damage. He grabbed the beam with his hand. Being able to disrupt his equilibrium with his supersonic screaming, Homelander wasn't strong enough to capitalize on it in any meaningful way. Plus, while Homelander is pretty devious when the situation calls for it, Omni-Man has been fighting and conquering worlds for thousands of years. He comes from a warrior culture based on fighting. Homelander, on the other hand, comes from a test tube and never had to push yep. himself as a fighter because he was always so much He was human engineer. Omni-Man was difference between them. One of the worldly engineer. The is a bully. Homelander was never going to give up easy, but Omni-Man's skill, power, and Viltrumite heritage earned him the win. Yep. When it comes to Superman knockoffs, Homelander had to eat his heart out. The winner is Omni-Man. W bit made sense.